Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to be doing another challenge video and this time it's going to be the no mirror makeup challenge. This has been going around for quite a while now and I just thought it would be fun to recreate it into my own little look without a mirror. I have covered my screen because I do film from my phone so I just covered my screen and we're gonna we're gonna get started there are no mirrors that i can see i know there's a mirror behind me there's a mirror to the side of me but i can't see it i'm not looking at it and i can't see even if i turn my head like i can't see myself let's just we're gonna get First, started we're gonna start off with some um revlon photo ready brightening primer <clears throat> because it's clear and it shouldn't mess my face up <laughs> if this makeup turns out okay i'm probably gonna wear it for the rest of the day um, now we're going to go into the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have it in the shade 710 sponge, and I'm going to dot this on my face first. I hope that will, like, go for more even application. Now we're just going to start blending this in. I can't see anything. I feel like I'm missing parts of my face, but I can't figure out which parts they are. Alright, uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And just blending that out onto my eyelid too. Focusing it on here. I have my sister sitting on my bed over there. Now, how does it look? It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look good either though, does it? She likes coming in and watching videos being filmed. So as long as she's quiet, I let her. I'm gonna take my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Just taking a tapered brush, setting my under eye. Ooh, that was a lot of product, wasn't it? <laughs> the other day, I put this on and I, I hadn't used it in like a month, like forever. And I was just like, oh, like it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful foundation and like it's glowy and luminous and it covers but like not too much to where it looks weird with my freckles i love that foundation so so much and i just wish that i really like, remembered to use it more i don't know why i don't use it enough but i just don't i don't know would you guys be interested in seeing like a video of products that i've like never reached for before like a full face of products that i've like i just don't reach for um because there are quite a few. Even though I don't have the largest makeup collection in the world, there are still products in my collection that get neglected. And, you know, I feel bad for them. So maybe I should use them in a video and give, like, my reevaluated thoughts on them, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if you'll be interested in that. <sighs> okay, so next I'm going to do blush and highlight. No, I'm going to do highlight first. Because highlight can look crazy sometimes if you don't blend it out right. And I'm not going to be able to see my face. So I'm going to blend it out with my blush in case it does look crazy. So I'm just taking my e.l.f. highlighting brush. That's the... Okay. I don't want to go too close to my eye. And I also don't want to go too low. I'm taking my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. So good. I don't know where to look. Like... What do I look to do this? Do I look at you guys at the camera? Do I look at the ceiling? I look at you. <laughs> How am I looking? This side's a little crazy. Is this side a little crazy? Yeah. You can, They're both crazy? Yeah, you can blend them out. Okay, I knew that would happen. Okay, so I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. And my blush brush. This was like in a travel bag. So now it's all like messed up. I need to wash my brushes so badly. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a video on how to wash brushes. Too much? I feel like I'm cheating, like asking her. <laughs> no, not too much. I totally feel like I'm cheating asking her if it looks bad or not. <sighs> I don't know how that looks. Just to kind of blend all the edges out over the blush and the highlight and everything, I'm just going to take what's left over on my powder brush and really buff that around my face. Eyeshadow is next. I am using a combination of my Lorac Pro 3 palette because it has all of these wonderful transition shades. I know it has a mirror in it, so hang on, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to show it to you like this. Um, and it has all these wonderful transition shades and then 
I'm going to be using the Sultry palette as well from Profusion. So we're going to start off with some eyeshadow primer. Let's go in with the Milani um, eyeshadow primer. I haven't used this in a hot minute. I love it. I just haven't used it in a while. Okay, and now I'm going to set that with a little bit of um, Canny from the Profusion palette. I really love the mattes in this palette. They're so creamy and smooth. I love them. I'm gonna do my brows real quick. This is this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Total Temptation brow pencil. This is just what I usually use. Well, I'm definitely combing my brows. That's the top of my brow. Here's the bottom of my brow. Okay. I feel like a kindergartner. I'm just gonna work any of that product through. How do I look? You look bushy. Bushy. I bet my brows look so good right now. I bet they look better than the acrylic paints challenge, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna set them real quick. Hopefully this will make everything look better. Now let's go into some transition shades on eyeshadow. So, okay, this has a mirror, so this is how I'm going to do this. Okay, I can't see any of, I can't see the mirror, I can only see the shadows, and I'm just going to lay that down like that. I am going to go into the shade Pink Nude. Now, we are going to go into the Sultry Palette and just hop into this Ecstatic shade. It's a fun, bright orange. Now I'm going to take my finger, just my ring finger and wonder, and I'm going to tap this on the outer corner. So, because that just looks so beautiful right now, we're going to go ahead and take a blending brush. Just go over it. Fade it up into the crease because I totally know what I'm doing right now. And that's going to be all for the outer corners and the transitions. You messed up so badly. Thank and we're going to hop into this really fun blue shade called Lagoon. And we're going to pop this all on the inner half of the lid. You know, this would be really, really pretty if I had a mirror. <laughs> I'm so tempted to look at myself. Oh, well, no, 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 no. If you see this look in a future video, but a lot neater, it's because I really love the color so much, but I just wanted to do it correctly. You look like a butterfly. Thanks. That's what I'm going for. In a bad way. Thanks. <laughs> I don't have mascara on yet, okay? That's just gonna make it worse. I'm just going back into <laughs> this brush and back into Ecstatic, which is that bright orange. I'm going to go into Lit now. It's kind of like a golden shimmer. And where's my inner corner? Here it is. Curl eyelashes. I actually have curled my eyelashes without a mirror several times. Let's go into some mascara. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. Oh my gosh. Just to layer on top of that, I'm going to go into the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. Look at how ginormous that wand is. Like, are you serious? <gasps> oh! <laughs> I think I got most of it off. Now we're going to go into the final step, which is lips. 
I'm gonna be using a nude lip for this because I knew this would be a crazy lid. So this is the completed look, everybody. Let's go in for a mirror now. Whenever I was pushing in the inner corner, I transferred the blue eyeshadow down. My mascara looks absolutely horrendous. My lips look absolutely horrendous. Like I have lips like high teeth. I feel like it could have gone a lot worse, honestly. I was expecting something way more scary to come up. Um, but I definitely think that this, um, yeah, this is, this is special. This is a special look, you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you found it helpful. No, you will not find this helpful. I hope that you found this fun to watch and entertaining, and if you enjoy these challenges, just keep giving them thumbs ups, and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful day. This is my last day of summer, so I'm going to go outside and enjoy the fresh air and the sun. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Oh, <laughs> bye.